Hi, I'm Franz. I work in Le Sonde. I'm in the Department of Earth and Space Science and Engineering. I'm here to talk to you today about space engineering. So space engineering looks at how we put things into space and how they work when they get there. It's a very multidisciplinary engineering program. We have content that comes from our friends in mechanical engineering, in electrical engineering, in software engineering. So if we think about space engineering, it's used in so many different ways that we may not always be conscious about. If we think about the navigation uh, that we do with our phones, that makes use of global navigational satellite systems. If we think about how we communicate across the world, we're often using uh, geostationary communication satellites. If we think about how we know what the weather's going to be this week, this month, that uses weather satellites in low Earth orbit and also out in geostationary orbit. There are so many different ways that we actually use data from space to help us understand the world that we live in and help us communicate around it. When we think about this small blue dot that we live on, space engineering allows us to really understand how uh, the world is situated within the universe. Space engineering allows us to engineer systems that allow us to observe the Earth, to think about what it would be like to live off the Earth if we had to and to help us really understand where life on Earth has come from by looking out at other planets. So space engineering can really help us really understand how we as human beings have survived on this small blue dot for a very short amount of time and also help us do the day-to-day -day work that is uh, living on this planet and making it survive. So if we think about how space is changing right now, it's going through a fairly significant shift from traditional large expensive space missions to what we call new space where space missions are shrinking we're getting cubesats the size of uh, maybe smaller than a football 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters that are tackling real challenges in society today with that come new challenges the cost of flying missions allows us now to help issues on a local scale to help uh, regions actually solve problems from space. From space, you don't see a country border. The things that make space engineering an interesting discipline to study are that we cover mechanical, electrical, software, navigation, payload, science. So if you're looking for a way of studying engineering that helps you connect to all the different facets of how to learn, and you're interested in tackling challenges that really do have a global impact, then space engineering could be a really interesting program for you. As part of the curriculum, we have some interesting spaces in our program. We have a second year course called Space Systems Engineering, and we get our second years to work with our fourth year students doing space mission design. The fourth years become the mission designers. They're thinking about how to solve a real world challenge using a space mission. And then they work with the second years who then develop the systems that those missions need, the electrical system, the payload, the power system, the communication system. And that's a great chance to see in your program where you'll end up by the end of it. And for the fourth years, it gives them the opportunity to see how far they've come with this journey that they've taken. We also have a course called Materials for Space Applications, where you get to really think about what it's like to put a, an object into space. So thinking about the vibration environment, we put some electronics on a vibration table and shake them like they would be on a launch vehicle. We can put equipment into a thermal vacuum chamber, pump it down to vacuum like it would be in space and cool it down and test out those very cold and very warm temperatures that we see in space. Outside the curriculum, we have a number of clubs. We have been able to launch two spacecraft at York University in the last few years. And both of these involved a lot of our students. Every student in the Sun has the opportunity for a co-op and within the space domain we have co-ops with organisations such as the Canadian Space Agency, Department of National Defence's research at NDA. In addition, an undergraduate degree in engineering can lead to many possible opportunities. Within Canada, we punch well above our weight in terms of how much space activity we do, and both in US and European and international endeavors when it comes to space missions. In general, an undergraduate degree is really about learning how to learn engineering, 
And so picking a topic which you're passionate about, that you'll enjoy learning how to learn engineering through it, is often more important than actually the specific type of degree. So whatever that journey looks like, it will be a good one for them wherever you want to end up in the engineering world. So thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about space engineering here at the Sound, please go to our website.